join us on Patreon, and become part of our journey to uncover history's untold stories. Your support helps us create in-depth content, bring hidden narratives to life, and keep history alive for everyone. In the early morning chill of the industrial age, long before the world became familiar with the roar of cars and trains that could stop at the pull of a lever, one man labored in the quiet hum of invention. He was a man born from struggle, shaped by ingenuity, and driven by a vision far ahead of his time. His name was Granville T. Woods, a name that history has often dimmed beneath the bright lights of his white contemporaries. Yet without his genius, the automatic brake system that revolutionized transportation and saved countless lives might never have existed. The world knows of Edison and Tesla, of Goodyear and Bell, of the industrialists who define the modern age. But hidden in the long shadow of that era was a black inventor whose contributions were so essential that railroad companies could not function without them. Wood's inventions laid the groundwork for safer, faster, and more efficient railway systems, technologies that directly influenced the transportation revolution that followed. Yet his name was systematically obscured, his patents challenged, and his legacy almost erased from the public narrative of American progress. Born in Columbus, Ohio, on April 23, 1856, Granville Taylor Woods entered a world that was not kind to black ambition. America was still trembling under the weight of slavery's recent abolition, and the Civil War had only just ended. In the North, racism had taken a subtler form. It denied opportunity rather than humanity, excluded rather than enslaved. Formal education was limited for black children and in many cities, schooling past the elementary level was nearly impossible. Yet Wood's curiosity burned too brightly to be smothered. He left school at the age of 10 to work in factories and machine shops, where he absorbed the principles of mechanics and electricity by observation and experimentation. In his teenage years, he apprenticed in the railways, learning not only how trains functioned but how they failed, especially how accidents were often caused by human error and the absence of reliable communication between trains. Wood's early experiences among the steam and steel of industrial America shaped his determination to design technologies that could make transportation safer and smarter. After years of self-education, Woods emerged not merely as a mechanic, but as an inventor with a deep understanding of electrical systems. He worked on railroads in Illinois and Ohio, and eventually became an engineer aboard the British steamer Ironsides where he supervised machinery operations. During his travels, he witnessed how the lack of efficient braking and signaling systems cost lives across continents. These observations inspired him to create devices that could bring precision to an industry defined by danger. When Woods settled in Cincinnati in the early 1880s, he began filing patents, each one reflecting not just technical brilliance but visionary foresight. Among his most important inventions was the telegraphy a system that combined the telephone and telegraph to allow communication between moving trains and stations. This was revolutionary. At a time when train collisions were common due to miscommunication, Wood's device made it possible for engineers to send messages between locomotives and signal towers instantly, saving lives and cargo. But it was his work on the automatic brake and electrical control system that cemented his place in the hidden history of modern transportation. Before Wood's intervention, train brakes were manually operated by brakemen who moved from car to car, turning wheels and applying pressure. This process was slow, inconsistent, and dangerous. If a train needed to stop quickly, it often could not. Woods envisioned a system that would allow the engineer to control braking across all cars simultaneously through an electric signal. His invention worked on the principle of an electric circuit running through the train, with each car connected by couplings. When the engineer activated the system, an electrical signal engaged air brakes throughout the train at once, reducing stopping distance dramatically. It was a breakthrough that not only increased safety, but also improved efficiency, allowing trains to travel at higher speeds with confidence. The rail companies quickly recognized the potential of wood system. It was practical, efficient, and saved money by reducing accidents and maintenance costs. Yet, as often happened to black inventors in the late 19th century, Woods faced fierce resistance when it came to recognition and ownership. 
His patents were frequently challenged in court by corporations and white inventors who refused to believe that a black man could have designed such sophisticated technology. One of his most famous legal battles came when Thomas Edison himself claimed that Woods had stolen his ideas. Edison, already established as a celebrity inventor, attempted to invalidate Woods' patent for his electrical communication system. The case dragged on, but Woods emerged victorious, proving the originality of his invention in court. Edison, realizing Woods' genius, even offered him a job in his company, an offer Woods boldly declined. He chose instead to continue his independent work, stating that he preferred to be his own master. This independence came at a price. In an era when racial discrimination permeated every institution, Wood struggled to find investors or large-scale manufacturing support for his inventions. White inventors with less technical skill but more connections often receive credit or profit for ideas similar to his. Despite these barriers, Woods continued to innovate, registering over 60 patents throughout his career. His automatic brake system was not merely a technical achievement. It was a moral one. At a time when industrial accidents claimed thousands of lives each year, Woods' invention demonstrated the transformative power of black intellect in a world that refused to acknowledge it. His technology influenced later developments in train automation and electrical control systems, laying groundwork for the electrically operated brakes used in modern subways and trams. The cruel irony of Granville T. Wood's story lies in how history remembered him. While the names of white inventors became synonymous with innovation, Wood's name faded from public consciousness. His patents were often bought out or absorbed into larger corporations without proper attribution. Even after his death on January 30, 1910, in New York City, the recognition he deserved remained elusive. Newspapers barely mention him. History textbooks erased him entirely from the narrative of American invention. Yet the truth cannot remain buried forever. Over the decades, researchers and historians have slowly reconstructed Wood's legacy, revealing the extent to which his ideas shaped modern transportation. His innovations predated and influenced systems later credited to white engineers. The principles behind his automatic braking and communication systems directly informed the development of train signaling networks and even early subway control technologies. His brilliance extended beyond trains. Woods also invented an improved steam boiler furnace, an electric incubator, and a battery-powered railway system that anticipated aspects of modern electric transportation. Each of these inventions displayed his remarkable ability to merge theoretical science with practical engineering. Unlike many inventors of his time who worked in isolation, Woods approached invention as a holistic science, understanding not just the mechanism but the human need it served. Granville Woods' story also exposes a deeper truth about the erasure of black achievement in American history. During the late 19th and early 20th centuries, systemic racism ensured that black inventors were rarely given credit or visibility. Patent laws did not explicitly discriminate by race, but the social and economic systems surrounding them did. White investors could easily buy out black inventors' rights, and newspapers often failed to report their contributions. Wood's marginalization was not an isolated case. It was part of a broader pattern that buried the intellectual heritage of Black America under centuries of prejudice. Today, as scholars revisit the archives, the figure of Granville T. Woods emerges not as a forgotten footnote, but as a pillar of modern innovation. His work prefigured technologies that we now take for granted. Every time a train stops smoothly without manual intervention, or when an engineer communicates seamlessly with a control station, a part of Wood's legacy lives on. His achievements also serve as a reminder that black innovation has always been at the heart of progress. From Garrett Morgan's traffic signal to Elijah McCoy's lubrication systems, from Madam C.J. Walker's business empire to Wood's electrical systems, African-American inventors redefined industries even when society refused to acknowledge them. Their brilliance was the quiet engine behind America's industrial rise. In recent years, Granville Woods has begun to receive long overdue recognition. Schools, libraries, and museums now bear his name. In 2006, 
A statue of Woods was erected at the Coney Island subway station in Brooklyn, a fitting tribute to a man whose life's work revolved around motion, connection, and transformation. His story has been reclaimed by historians, educators, and artists determined to ensure that the world knows the truth of who built it. The hidden history of Granville T. Woods reminds us that the progress of civilization is not the work of a few celebrated names, but of countless forgotten minds. The automatic brake system that saved lives and reshaped transportation stands not merely as a technical innovation, but as a symbol of resilience, the declaration that genius knows no color. As we look upon the world of high-speed trains, automated systems, and seamless transportation networks, we are, in many ways, seeing the manifestation of Wood's 19th century dreams. His life was a testament to creativity in the face of exclusion, intellect in the face of ignorance, and perseverance in the face of erasure. The man they hid, the black inventor who created the automatic brake system, was not hidden by accident. He was hidden by design, by a system that feared what his brilliance represented. The undeniable truth that black minds were not merely laborers in the industrial age, but architects of its very foundations. And though history tried to bury Granville T. Woods, the sound of every train that stops safely today whispers his name in return.